10 Lessons from Atomic Habits That Changed My Life 1. The Power of Compound Interest in Habits Realizing that small, consistent actions can lead to significant results over time has shifted my perspective on personal growth. Just like money grows through compound interest, our habits compound to shape our lives. The Four Laws of Behavior Change Learning to make habits obvious, attractive, easy, and satisfying has revolutionized how I approach building new habits and breaking old ones. This framework has provided me with clear guidance on how to create sustainable behavior changes. Habit Stacking Incorporating new habits into existing routines has made it much easier for me to adopt and maintain positive behaviors. By leveraging habits I already have in place, I've eliminated much of the resistance that typically comes with starting something new. The Two-Minute Rule Embracing the idea that any habit can be started with just two minutes of effort has been a game-changer for me. It's helped me overcome the inertia of starting and made it easier to build momentum towards my goals. Focus on systems, not goals. Shifting my focus from outcomes to the systems and processes that lead to success has been incredibly empowering. By focusing on the habits and routines that support my goals, i found that I can make progress even when the end goal seems far off. Identity-Based Habits Recognizing the importance of aligning my habits with my desired identity has fundamentally changed how I approach behavior change. By striving to become the person I want to be, i found it easier to stay motivated and consistent in my habits. Habit Tracking Integrating habit tracking into my daily routine has been a game-changer for staying accountable and motivated. Being able to visually see my progress over time has kept me focused on my goals and encouraged me to keep pushing forward. Environment Design Proactively shaping my environment to support my desired habits has had a profound impact on my ability to stay on track. By removing distractions and creating a space conducive to positive behavior, I've set myself up for success. Embracing Failure Learning to view setbacks as opportunities for growth rather than reasons to give up has been a liberating mindset shift for me. By embracing failure and learning from my mistakes, I've been able to bounce back stronger and more resilient than ever. The Power of Identity Understanding that my habits are a reflection of my identity has given me a sense of purpose and direction. By intentionally cultivating habits that align with the person I want to become, I've been able to create a life that feels more authentic and fulfilling. 2. The Four Laws of Behavior Change Reflecting on my journey of habit formation and the principles outlined in Atomic Habits, I am particularly struck by the clarity and practicality of the four laws of behavior change. These laws, namely making habits obvious, attractive, easy, and satisfying, have served as guiding principles in my quest to build and sustain positive habits. When I first encountered these laws, I was intrigued by their simplicity yet profound implications for behavior change. Each law represents a fundamental aspect of human psychology and offers actionable insights into how habits are formed and maintained. Making habits obvious has been a foundational principle in my habit-building efforts. By increasing the visibility of desired behaviors and reducing friction to their execution, I've found it much easier to integrate them into my daily life. Simple strategies such as setting out my workout clothes the night before or placing a bowl of fruit on the kitchen counter, have made healthy habits more apparent and accessible. Additionally, the notion of making habits attractive has been instrumental in shaping my behavior. By linking desired behaviors with immediate rewards or associating them with pleasurable experiences, I've been able to create positive associations that reinforce habit formation. Whether it's incorporating enjoyable activities into my exercise routine or cultivating a supportive social environment, making habits attractive has helped me stay motivated and engaged. Another key principle, making habits easy, underscores the importance of reducing barriers to action. By breaking down habits into smaller, more manageable steps and eliminating unnecessary obstacles, I've been able to overcome inertia and initiate behavior change. 
This approach aligns with the two-minute rule, which suggests that any habit can be started with just two minutes of effort. By focusing on the smallest actionable steps, I've built momentum and gradually increased the complexity of my habits over time. Finally, making habits satisfying has been essential for maintaining long-term adherence. By celebrating small wins and acknowledging progress, I've reinforced positive behaviors and created a sense of fulfillment that encourages continued effort. Additionally, incorporating elements of enjoyment and meaning into my habits has enhanced their intrinsic rewards, making them more sustainable in the long run. In summary, the four laws of behavior change have provided me with a clear framework for building habits that align with my goals and values. By making habits obvious, attractive, easy, and satisfying, I've been able to overcome common pitfalls and create lasting behavior change. These principles have not only transformed my habits, but also empowered me to take control of my life and pursue meaningful growth and improvement. 3. Habit Stacking Asterisk asterisk habit stacking, a concept introduced in Atomic Habits, has revolutionized my approach to habit formation by leveraging the power of existing routines to establish new behaviors. This technique involves linking a desired habit with an existing one, creating a seamless transition that makes the adoption of new habits effortless and sustainable. When I first encountered the concept of habit stacking, I was intrigued by its simplicity and effectiveness. Instead of trying to introduce completely new habits into my routine, I began to look for opportunities to piggyback on behaviors that were already established. For example, I decided to incorporate a brief meditation session immediately after my morning cup of coffee, as it naturally followed a routine I already had in place. What I quickly discovered was that habit stacking not only made it easier to integrate new habits into my life, but also helped reinforce the consistency of existing ones. By anchoring new behaviors to familiar cues or rituals, I found that I was less likely to forget or neglect them, as they became automatic responses to specific triggers. Additionally, habit stacking allowed me to maximize the efficiency of my daily routines by combining multiple behaviors into a single sequence. For instance, I began incorporating stretching exercises into my bedtime routine, capitalizing on the momentum of brushing my teeth and getting ready for bed to establish a consistent habit. One of the most powerful aspects of habit stacking is its scalability and adaptability to different contexts and lifestyles. Whether I'm traveling, experiencing disruptions to my routine, or facing time constraints, I can easily adapt my habit stacks to fit my circumstances while ensuring that I maintain consistency in my behaviors. Moreover, habit stacking has helped me overcome the common barriers to habit formation, such as forgetfulness or lack of motivation. By anchoring new habits to existing routines, I've minimized the cognitive load associated with behavior change and streamlined the process of building new habits. In summary, habit stacking has been a game-changer in my quest for personal growth and behavior change. By capitalizing on the power of existing routines and leveraging the principle of association, I've been able to establish sustainable habits that align with my goals and values. This simple yet powerful technique has transformed the way I approach habit formation, making it easier and more enjoyable to cultivate positive behaviors in my daily life. 4. The Two-Minute Rule The two-minute rule, introduced in Atomic Habits, has been a fundamental principle that has reshaped my approach to habit formation. This rule states that any habit can be started with just two minutes of effort, emphasizing the importance of breaking tasks down into small, manageable increments to overcome the inertia of starting. When I first encountered the two-minute rule, I was struck by its simplicity and practicality. It provided a clear and actionable strategy for overcoming procrastination and resistance, allowing me to initiate behaviors with minimal effort and gradually build momentum over time. Implementing the two-minute rule has been a game-changer in my daily routine. Rather than feeling overwhelmed by the prospect of tackling a daunting task or committing to a lengthy activity, I focus on taking the first small step. 
whether it's spending two minutes decluttering my desk, writing in a journal, or going for a short walk, I've found that getting started is often the hardest part. What I've come to appreciate about the two-minute rule is its ability to bypass the psychological barriers that often hinder habit formation. By lowering the activation energy required to start a behavior, I've been able to overcome procrastination and resistance more effectively, setting myself up for success. Moreover, the two-minute rule has helped me cultivate a sense of consistency and momentum in my habits. Even on days when I feel unmotivated or pressed for time, I can commit to just two minutes of effort, knowing that it's better to do something than nothing at all. This approach has prevented me from falling into the trap of all-or-nothing thinking and allowed me to maintain progress even during challenging times. Another benefit of the two-minute rule is its scalability and adaptability to different contexts and goals. Whether I'm working on a new skill, adopting a healthy habit, or completing a tedious task, I can apply the two-minute rule to break it down into manageable chunks and make progress incrementally. In summary, the two-minute rule has been a powerful tool in my arsenal for building and sustaining habits. By focusing on taking small, consistent actions, I've been able to overcome procrastination, maintain momentum, and make steady progress towards my goals. This rule serves as a reminder that every journey begins with a single step, and by starting small, we can achieve remarkable results over time. 5. Focus on systems, not goals. The concept of focusing on systems over goals, elucidated in Atomic Habits, has fundamentally transformed my approach to personal growth and achievement. Instead of fixating solely on the end result or outcome, I've learned to prioritize the systems and processes that lead to success. Initially, like many others, I was accustomed to setting ambitious goals and measuring my progress solely based on their attainment. However, I soon realized that this approach often left me feeling disheartened and frustrated, particularly when faced with setbacks or obstacles beyond my control. Adopting a system-focused mindset has been liberating, as it shifts the emphasis from external benchmarks to internal processes. Rather than being solely outcome-oriented, I now view success as a byproduct of consistent, deliberate action and adherence to well-designed systems. One of the key insights I've gained from focusing on systems is the importance of creating sustainable habits and routines that support my goals. By identifying the behaviors and actions that contribute to my desired outcomes, I've been able to establish systems that facilitate consistent progress and growth. Moreover, focusing on systems has helped me cultivate a sense of agency and control over my life. Instead of waiting for external circumstances to align with my goals, I've learned to focus on what I can control. My habits, actions, and mindset. This shift in perspective has empowered me to take proactive steps towards my aspirations, regardless of external factors. Additionally, a system-focused approach encourages flexibility and adaptability in the pursuit of goals. Rather than being rigidly attached to a specific outcome, I remain open to adjusting my strategies and tactics based on feedback and changing circumstances. This adaptability allows me to navigate challenges more effectively and stay resilient in the face of adversity. Ultimately, Focusing on systems over goals has redefined success for me as a continuous process rather than a final destination. It's about embracing the journey of growth and improvement, recognizing that meaningful change occurs not in the attainment of goals, but in the daily habits and behaviors that shape our lives. By prioritizing systems, I've cultivated a more sustainable and fulfilling approach to personal development— one that celebrates progress, resilience, and lifelong learning. 6. Identity-Based Habits Delving into the concept of identity-based habits in Atomic Habits has been a profound revelation that has reshaped how I approach behavior change. Rather than focusing solely on what I want to achieve, I've learned to prioritize who I want to become and align my habits with that desired identity. Initially, my approach to habit formation was centered around setting specific goals and objectives. While this provided a sense of direction, 
I often found myself struggling to maintain motivation and consistency, especially when faced with challenges or setbacks. Embracing identity-based habits has been a game-changer, as it shifts the focus from external outcomes to internal identity. Instead of asking, what do I want to accomplish? I now ask, who do I want to be? This subtle shift in perspective has had profound implications for my behavior and mindset. By identifying with the person I aspire to become, I've been able to cultivate habits that are congruent with that desired identity. For example, if I aspire to be a healthy, active individual, I focus on adopting habits such as regular exercise and nutritious eating that align with that self-image. What I've found most empowering about identity-based habits is the sense of alignment and authenticity they bring to my life. Rather than forcing myself to adhere to external expectations or arbitrary goals, I'm guided by an intrinsic sense of purpose and identity. This makes it easier to stay motivated and committed to my habits, even in the face of adversity. Moreover, identity-based habits serve as a powerful anchor during times of uncertainty or self-doubt. By grounding my habits in a strong sense of self, I'm less susceptible to external influences or societal pressures, allowing me to stay true to my values and priorities. Additionally, embracing identity-based habits has fostered a sense of continuity and consistency in my behavior. Rather than viewing each habit as a discrete action, I see them as interconnected components of a larger identity system. This holistic perspective encourages me to approach behavior change as a lifelong journey of growth and self-discovery. In summary, identity-based habits have revolutionized my approach to personal development, providing a framework that is both empowering and sustainable. By anchoring my habits in a strong sense of self and aligning them with my desired identity, I've been able to cultivate a life that is congruent with my values and aspirations. This shift from goal-based to identity-based behavior change has not only transformed my habits but also enriched my sense of purpose and fulfillment. 7. Habit Tracking Habit tracking, as elucidated in Atomic Habits, has become an indispensable tool in my journey of personal growth and behavior change. This practice involves systematically monitoring my habits and behaviors over time, providing valuable insights into my progress and areas for improvement. Initially, I approached habit tracking with a sense of skepticism, unsure of its effectiveness or relevance to my goals. However, as I began to implement this practice into my daily routine, I quickly discovered its transformative power in fostering self-awareness and accountability. One of the most significant benefits of habit tracking is its ability to provide objective feedback on my behavior. By recording my habits consistently, I can identify patterns, trends, and areas of inconsistency that may be hindering my progress. This awareness allows me to make informed adjustments to my habits and routines, optimizing them for greater effectiveness. Moreover, habit tracking serves as a powerful motivator by visually illustrating my progress over time. Whether through a simple checklist, habit tracking app, or journaling system, seeing my streaks and accomplishments reinforces my commitment to my goals and encourages me to stay on track. Additionally, Habit tracking helps me cultivate a sense of accountability and responsibility for my actions. Knowing that I am accountable to myself and my goals motivates me to prioritize my habits and make choices that align with my long-term aspirations. Furthermore, habit tracking facilitates reflection and self-assessment, allowing me to celebrate successes and learn from setbacks. By reviewing my tracking data regularly, I can identify what's working well and where I may need to course correct, leading to continuous improvement and growth. Another benefit of habit tracking is its ability to enhance consistency and adherence to my habits. By establishing a regular habit tracking routine, I've created a feedback loop that reinforces positive behaviors and helps me stay disciplined even when faced with distractions or temptations. In summary, Habit tracking has become an integral part of my daily routine, providing invaluable insights and support in my journey of personal development. 
By systematically monitoring my habits and behaviors, I've been able to foster self-awareness, accountability, and consistency, leading to meaningful progress and transformation. This practice serves as a reminder of the power of small, consistent actions in shaping our lives and achieving our goals. 8. Environment Design The concept of environment design, as outlined in Atomic Habits, has profoundly influenced my approach to habit formation and personal productivity. This principle emphasizes the critical role that our physical surroundings play in shaping our behaviors and suggests intentional modifications to our environment to support desired habits and goals. Initially, I underestimated the impact of my environment on my habits and behaviors, assuming that willpower alone was sufficient to overcome external distractions or temptations. However, as I delved deeper into the principles of environment design, I began to recognize the subtle yet significant influence that my surroundings exerted on my daily choices and actions. One of the key insights I gained from environment design is the concept of temptation bundling, which involves pairing a desired behavior with a rewarding activity. By strategically placing cues or reminders in my environment, I can create positive associations that make it easier to engage in desired habits. For example, placing a book I want to read next to my bed encourages me to read before going to sleep, transforming an otherwise idle bedtime routine into a productive habit. Moreover, environment design has enabled me to minimize distractions and optimize my workspace for maximum focus and productivity. By decluttering my environment, establishing designated work areas, and removing digital distractions, such as social media notifications or email alerts, I create an environment that fosters deep work and concentration. Additionally, environment design facilitates the formation of environmental triggers or cues that prompt desired behaviors. Whether it's placing a water bottle on my desk to remind me to stay hydrated or displaying motivational quotes in my workspace to inspire productivity, these environmental cues serve as gentle reminders and prompts for action. Furthermore, environment design extends beyond physical spaces to include digital environments as well. By curating my digital workspace, organizing files and documents, and customizing software settings for efficiency, I create a digital environment that supports my workflow and minimizes cognitive load. In summary, environment design has become a cornerstone of my approach to habit formation and personal productivity. By intentionally shaping my surroundings to align with my goals and values, I create an environment that fosters positive habits, minimizes distractions, and maximizes focus and productivity. This practice serves as a powerful tool for optimizing my environment for success and creating a conducive atmosphere for growth and achievement. 9. Embracing Failure Embracing failure, as discussed in Atomic Habits, has been a transformative mindset shift that has reshaped my relationship with setbacks and challenges. Rather than viewing failure as a source of shame or discouragement, I've learned to embrace it as an inevitable and valuable part of the learning process. Initially, I approached failure with a sense of fear and avoidance, viewing it as a reflection of my inadequacies or shortcomings. However, as I delved deeper into the principles of behavior change and personal growth, I began to understand that failure is not a reflection of my worth as an individual, but rather an opportunity for growth and learning. One of the key insights I gained from embracing failure is the importance of reframing setbacks as feedback. Instead of dwelling on past mistakes or dwelling on what went wrong, I now approach failure with a sense of curiosity and openness, eager to uncover valuable lessons that can inform my future actions. Moreover, embracing failure has taught me resilience and perseverance in the face of adversity. Rather than allowing setbacks to derail my progress or diminish my confidence, I've learned to view them as temporary obstacles that can be overcome with persistence and determination. Additionally, Embracing failure has helped me cultivate a growth mindset, which emphasizes the belief that my abilities and intelligence can be developed through effort and experience. 
by reframing failure as an opportunity for growth and improvement, I've become more resilient, adaptable, and open to new challenges. Furthermore, embracing failure has enabled me to adopt a more proactive approach to problem-solving and decision-making. Rather than fearing failure and avoiding risks, I now see it as an essential part of the innovation process, driving experimentation and creativity. In summary, embracing failure has been a transformative mindset shift that has empowered me to navigate challenges with courage, resilience, and optimism. By reframing setbacks as opportunities for growth and learning, I've cultivated a mindset of continuous improvement and progress. This shift in perspective has not only enhanced my ability to overcome obstacles, but also fostered a greater sense of resilience, confidence, and fulfillment in pursuing my goals and aspirations. 10. The Power of Identity Exploring the power of identity in atomic habits has been a profound revelation that has reshaped my understanding of behavior change and personal transformation. This principle emphasizes the importance of aligning our habits with our desired identity, recognizing that our actions are a reflection of who we believe ourselves to be. Initially, I viewed habit formation as a purely behavioral process, focusing on the external actions and outcomes rather than the internal beliefs and identity underlying them. However, as I delved deeper into the concept of identity-based habits, I began to realize that our habits are intrinsically linked to our sense of self and identity. One of the key insights I gained from exploring the power of identity is the idea that our habits are not just actions we take, but also statements about the type of person we believe ourselves to be. By aligning our habits with our desired identity, we create a powerful sense of congruence and authenticity that reinforces our commitment to our goals. Moreover, Embracing the power of identity has enabled me to cultivate a sense of agency and empowerment in shaping my behavior and life outcomes. Rather than feeling like a passive victim of circumstance, I now see myself as the architect of my destiny, capable of intentionally designing my habits and identity. Additionally, the power of identity has helped me overcome limiting beliefs and self-imposed barriers to success. By adopting the mindset of the person I aspire to be, I've been able to transcend the constraints of my past and step into a new, more empowered version of myself. Furthermore, embracing the power of identity has facilitated greater consistency and alignment in my behavior. Rather than relying solely on willpower or motivation to drive my actions, I now draw upon a deep sense of identity and purpose that sustains me through challenges and obstacles. In summary, exploring the power of identity has been a transformative journey that has empowered me to align my habits with my values, goals, and aspirations. By embracing the identity of the person I aspire to be, I've cultivated a sense of purpose, agency, and authenticity that has enriched every aspect of my life. This shift in perspective has not only enhanced my ability to create lasting behavior change, but also fostered a greater sense of fulfillment, meaning, and self-actualization.